Greetings everyone, this is P and welcome to the final episode of Modern Warfare 2 No Clipping. Today we're gonna see the final level, the end game level, and I have paused the game right now, and this is the only way we can see this level, because there is a very um, limiting thing with the boat sequence. If I enter the boat, my view position, my player view anyway, is uh, locked in the... A scripted model of the boat which we are able to drive and the problem is that I cannot no clip because the system locks me in the position here even if I no clip I won't be able to look around so the only way I can show you guys what happens is to pause the game and no clip while having everything paused which is something I actually first it's the first time I actually experiment with this. Uh, since I have the game paused, the game assumes that my position is where I started no clipping from, which means that any objects that are away from my player position will have lower quality due to LOD distancing. What LOD distancing is, is actually various props and models are going to be of lower quality because the game has lower polygon version of the models of the objects. For example, you see Shepard here and he's a, a Shadow Company man and it's quite funny. Yeah, I mean, it's, if it's the first time you see something like this, is very funny. For me, it's something very usual. I see those models very often given my modding career, but yeah, to someone entirely new to this, it's uh, it seems very funny, and yeah, it would seem very funny for me as well, if it was the first time I was seeing this. But yeah, uh, just keep this in mind, because it we're gonna see a lot of low-poly models in this one, due to this uh, inconvenience. However, uh, we will be able to explore the map without having uh, to worry about the time constraints of losing Shepard from our uh, chase. So let's head right into it. Let's first see the spawn area. This is where we start. And you can see if uh, I don't know if this works. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Um, I can't do our full bright, so we can't see through this. But we can see outside of it. We see that it's a cube of sorts uh, that has this cave where we are supposed to come from. Anyway, outside of map areas, if you never see them, there is no reason for the map designers to add stuff. It makes sense that when you have a corner behind you where you can't go through and you can't see, it, there would be nothing there. So yeah. By the way, interesting thing. I don't know if you guys can relate to that. You see this little prop thing here, like that? Uh, every time I play this, I see this thing and I always thought that it was a crouched enemy ready to shoot at me and I was always aiming for it with the boat. And I don't know, it seems like an optical illusion of sorts, like you see it from the distance, you see it like an enemy, this would be the weapon, this would be the body uh, aiming to this side or something. I don't know, it's just something I always, that always messed with me, uh, still up to this day. Let's see below the water, below the water is just terrain. Nothing surprising here. Anyway, just let's just move on. Too many details here. Uh, more props, more catwalks here. I think there are enemies around here shooting at us. Alp Force or Shadow Company, I'm not sure. I never understood why there were... Uh, what's the name? Alp Force here. I mean, yeah, it's Afghanistan. You would expect those factions to be here. But yeah, we see this road. Uh, I think a truck, a technical truck, uh, comes over here and shoots at us. Yeah, I mean, stuff like that. You, you, We are able to see behind this corner right now. This is why we make those series. So yeah, we have the other bridge. Uh, not much to see here besides the usual stuff we see from the normal perspective. Again, not many things are outside because you will never see them. So there's no reason for the mappers to make stuff. And this area is... I don't know why, but it seems very similar to the previous area. Can I... No, I can't use uh, sprint, uh, that's, that's not. Like this area seems very similar to me with uh, this area. They don't seem to be like a copy paste. I don't know about the shore area. So yeah, more props over here. We have those broken, they're not actually broken, those catwalks as well for the bridge. This seems like a very inconvenient bridge to walk on. Like. <laughs> Uh, besides the danger of it all, like it seems like very convenient. There's like one rope you have to balance yourself and hold into those two uh, ropes on the side. Anyway, so let's go to the cave. This cave uh, where we are 
uh, going through before we go to the open area right here what an iconic uh, open area and we're gonna do a top-down view of this uh, but first I'm going to follow the estimated path which we usually follow but yeah unfortunately it's gonna be slow I'm not sure how to like I have to unpause the game before I have to you know um, change the speed and yeah that's a, an inconvenience so yeah it's just this line over here you can go through the sides I assume so you see from this top-down view you see those uh, darker puddles on the water those will never be a problem because you are on this view and you can't see that they're a repeated pa pattern and it looks okay, but if you go top down, it will, of course, take you out of the immersion by having a repeated uh, uh, what's the name? pattern of uh, textures. But yeah, if you are on the ground, it looks fine. If we were on a helicopter, that would be bad. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's not the worst thing ever. This is the top down view area I was talking about. Uh, we see that it does like a curve of sorts. We see that there are water areas outside of the main area, stuff like that. This town-like area and the bridge here, the most narrow part of this region, we see that this is like some sort of village in Afghanistan, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's like, it's just a background level design, it's pretty cool. It should be non-colliding <laughs> as a map surface. Mappers know what I'm talking about. But uh, sometimes we see that the the mappers don't really care and they just make them collidable. Probably detail brushes. So yeah, they even bothered to put chairs over here. Like <laughs> this seems nice for a, like a YouTube video of sorts. Like I mean, not an ugly video, like a funny gag with uh, animated. Uh, Model for two models, maybe Shepard and Price sharing a beer of sorts. I don't know, and it's not very good for a screenshot. The ground is too bright and it, the contrast is too much. And yeah, you see, like it's it's weird. It's probably shadow, maybe I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, there are quite some cool, interesting out of map stuff here. And we see here that there is an Opel uh, truck from Call of Duty 2. This is a Call of Duty 2 model, actually, which is also in Call of Duty 4. And uh, as we can see, it preserved itself. They kept it in Modern Warfare 2. That would be probably because they used this as a template vehicle to work on newer uh, ground vehicles, I guess. That's my guess, that's nothing That's nothing confirmed, it's just a guess of mine. But it's very funny to see a Call of Duty 2 model in Call of Duty 4. If I'm not wrong, those vehicles are also used by enemy op force, uh, forces with uh, enemies back here where you shoot them. I'm not sure if that's true. because. I think I remember something like that in the mission, but I'm not really sure. Oh, there are more of these uh, chairs over here. The lighting is weird, probably because there is no light grid uh, volume in this area. That's just my uh, guess. Same as here. Yeah, I really don't know how you would put light grid in this map, anyway. Th this is a technical term, mappers will understand what I'm talking about, but anyway. To the rest of you, just enjoy this sightseeing. We're gonna go to the interesting parts later on, don't worry, we're getting there. It's cool shit. Um, there is a dock here as well, another bridge. There's a seam here between the textures. Uh, it happens sometimes. Maybe it's a shadow. Maybe it's a shadow. Maybe it's not the seam. Maybe it's a shadow. Yeah, it should be the shadow. Okay. My bad. <laughs> like, whoa, look at this seam. Now it's the shadow. <laughs> Yeah, you can see that these are not joined right, because you would never be able to see high past this area. So it makes sense that they wouldn't bother to connect everything between the terrain polygons. So yeah, I'm getting in too many details, it's fine. Eh? That's how the episodes are supposed to be, given whatever insight I can give. Uh, we have a road here that leads to nowhere, it's pretty nice cliff actually. Like, gives the illusion very nicely. You would think that there is a downhill area over here, but nah. 
And then you have the waterfall area. Like this is the rapids area, or if that's how they're actually named. Let's take a an opposite view of the rapids to give a different perspective of it all, which is uh, always interesting. So yeah, they're pretty long. Not very, like it's not a waterfall, but it's pretty long. It's cool. And now let's take a normal approach from a hidden point of view, going like that. Yeah, that's pretty wild though. You see, the terrain work here is uh, impressive. Um, I mean, they're professionals to what they're doing, but uh, it's always something to be respected and commended. Like, you know, bes besides the designers, besides everyone else who makes the story, the, the, the missions, the, all, all that, you have people who work on art, like uh, making the actual maps, which is an art of itself. It's like a very big accomplishment. We'll make a top down view of the final area before the waterfall. I mean, you can already see all of it. But yeah, it's always good to have a top down view here. Like, this map is split on sectors, on huge sectors. We have the cave area, we have the wide open area, the rapids river area, and then the waterfall ending area. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, nice. That's a nice one. So they have trucks. Those opal trucks we were talking about. This is. This looks like the. Just like old times episode the background cliff but it's a very much more simplistic version if not same level so there's a bridge there's a road over here there's a tank which is inside the map area yeah probably a rubble to uh, give an obstacle to player of sorts which is fine okay moving on to the final area where Shepard asked for the helicopter so yeah, basically Shepard goes inside the helicopter here, we are, we are left behind, the helicopter stops flying, we see it over here, Price shoots the, uh, shoots the grenade launcher I guess, because it sounds like a sniper rifle, but yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Helicopter drops, we draw, we fall on the, in the waterfall, is there anything down here? No, I didn't expect there to be something. So yeah, when we fall, we see those bubbles and stuff. I mean, those are pretty nice waterfalls, not gonna lie. Very cool stuff, you see there's nothing above this one. So yeah, when we fall, there's this bubble effect on the screen. I will assume that this is uh, probably some sort of shading and effects happening inside this area. Or some sort of screen overlay, or a mix of both. I don't think it's a video file, because if it was a video file, we would be able to find it in the files. And if I remember right, there's no such file. I mean, I may be wrong, I may not have seen it, but I don't think there's such a file. So yeah, I'm in the Rust area, obviously, right now. This is like the final area. Now, interesting thing. Uh, when we fall down the waterfall, the map uh, loads another map which is basically this area alone, this whole area. Everything behind this waterfall, uh, from the start of the level to this area, is uh, doesn't exist. The game doesn't just unrender them, it basically is a different map without them. That's what we load into when we kill Shepard. Now, I assume that they originally intended this to be a continuous sequence, like you fall the, uh, from the waterfall, you, then you get, uh, uh, you end up here on the shore, you wake up, you have the regular thing here and all the uh, environment design and stuff. And then you go here and kill Shepard. But the thing is that uh, they wanted to do the museum credits and they probably reached some sort of engine limit because of all the models and the whole this whole map waiting so much because it's a large map. And they probably hit some memory limit, that's my assumption again, and it's nothing I can actually confirm, it's just from my mapping experience Call of Duty, what I can assume, why would they do this, or something, like, it's nothing I can confirm again, just to clarify. Now, uh, let's take a look at the Rust area. So, you see the similarities and differences with the actual multiplayer map of Rust, and yeah, they're pretty close, like... You see this area here? I'm sure this is very recognizable to Rust players. Of course, this whole square pipe thing. <laughs> is there a... You know, this area here. Back here. Even this area is the same. The ladder, of course. 
the top area of course everything is almost the same almost like this area is different because this is like the inside if if we were to take uh, put away this uh, cube uh, building over here it would be very similar because there's the stairs and everything they just mash this together yeah, it's very interesting and then we have the pipe area like this area is the way it is right and then we have the pipe area over here uh, it doesn't really look a lot like the rust part I mean it's similar but no I don't think this is the exact same pipe it looks the same layout wise also I don't think this building was in the actual rust level anyway and yeah you have this uh, elevated building Th this existed in rust we all know it and then this uh, fuel tank of sorts which is replicated many times and yeah this does remind me of something from rust yeah, this like combination of things so yeah you see like it's many many parts of rust now there is a debate did rust come from this um, map or did uh, this map come from rust like it is it MP to SP or SP to MP <laughs> It's a very big debate, uh, controversial, like uh, behind the scenes debate between uh, gamers and modders when it comes to Call of Duty. So you can now see the full map, top down view, like how large and vast it is on an extreme top down view. So yeah, you see the cave areas where we begin from, over there. You see the layout and everything, then you see the wide open uh let me do this actually this is gonna be much better for you we see the start area the wide open water area rapids and uh, river area and then the rust area which has a large um desert uh, behind it which, which i didn't really pay attention to i know it exists and we saw it in the previous part but i didn't pay attention to it that much also there's no museum from what i can see I don't think the museum level is loaded here. I know it's somewhere over there on the next map. But yeah, it's probably not loaded here, from what I can see. So yeah, this was the endgame part 1 map. I'll see you in the next one.